We're here in the 5G World Zone at London Tech Week's Tech Accelerate. I'm joined here by Doug Renali, founder and chief strategy officer at Netnumber. Thanks for joining us. Um, you're going to be talking over at the, uh, the core 5G uh, conference. What are you going to be talking about? Sure, tomorrow we're going to be talking about the evolution of the signaling core network for mobile operators around the world. Key issue that they're dealing with is with the introduction of 5G, we're introducing an explosion of endpoints to the network with IoT, and the carriers are trying to convert their network from physical boxes over to software. So they really need to completely rethink how they run their signal and control network. Today, it doesn't scale very easily, and it's comprised of 20 different physical infrastructures that are expensive to run, and all have to be converted to software. So that's what we're gonna be talking about. How do we help them transform to that next generation software network? And I'm guessing this is where net number comes into it. For anyone who isn't familiar with net number, what's the elevator pitch? Net number radically simplifies signaling control. Exactly what you'd expect. Those 20 complex functions that operators run today that they call signaling control, we figured out how to collapse it all onto one platform. Think of it like your phone. Imagine if you had a separate phone for every application. I had my voice phone, my text phone, my American Airlines phone. You'd be carrying around 17 phones. That's stupid. That's how we've been running signaling control and it's time to stop. With the explosion of IoT, operators can't fulfill signaling control at the scale they need or at the price point that they need without totally re-envisioning it. And that's what we help them do. Right, so 5G world here in London. What have been your uh, key takeaways so far? So I think key issue I see is the 4G network is doing a really good job of broadening its scope, starting to provide services at higher bandwidth than expected, and provide narrowband IoT services. These were core applications that we envisioned for 5G. So 4G <laughs> is out there fighting to try and carve out its space and broaden its space. That's gonna have the effect of pushing out 5G a little further than we probably originally expected. Wow, so what you're saying there is uh, 4G's success is actually to 5G's detriment. And overall, you know, given that 5G is the future and we will all benefit from it, to our detriment as well. Not necessarily, because operators actually might get some breathing room here where they get to leverage that investment they made in 4G, add these valuable services without spending as much money and without make, taking as much time to deploy it. So I wouldn't really see the incremental improvements in 4G as a, a fault of the industry in any way. End users want these valuable services. They want more bandwidth. They want the ability to connect IoT devices in scale at cost-effective rates. Whether you get that as enhanced 4G or 5G, doesn't really matter. The industry is gonna benefit either way. So we're in 2017 right now. We're uh, champing at the bit for 5G, many of us are. Where do you think we'll be uh, this time next year? 5G World 2018, what will have changed, do you think, between now and then? So I think we'll probably at that point have specific applications that are actually driving the deployment of 5G. Still, we're out talking about it. We're still fishing for all those applications. So I think a year from now, we'll actually see some of them and we'll have concrete use cases. Terrific. Uh, finally, for now, anything you're particularly looking forward to seeing here in 5G World or at any of the other connected events here at Techcelerate? Well, so personally, I like the virtual reality stuff. So I want to go test out everything that's happening in that space and would love to see that advance. Good stuff. Uh, Doug from Netnumber, thank you very much indeed for joining us here today at London Tech Week's Tech Accelerate. My pleasure. Thanks for the time. Cheers.